Okay, so a um, bunch of you way back and when I had this video on the uh, GTR uh, 349 asked for some speed testing and I don't have a radar gun so I don't do that kind of stuff but I thought that I would make a video on how to add GPS to the uh, specifically to the uh, Mamba Mini stack here which is actually used in all the latest of the Diatone micro drones um, I picked up a few of these GPS models here. I have a separate video on sort of explaining what those differences are. I'm actually going to be using this as a platform for that, so that's going to be a future video. Stay tuned for that. But um, I'm going to put, I'm going to add a, a GPS to this particular model, and I'm going to basically show you how to do that. It's pretty straightforward. Um, the board here is a nice little diagram. Uh, all the solder points on this side here are corresponding to the side of the board over here and then I need to get into the back of the board here to these four pins over here so there's two large ones here that's uh, VC and ground I'm not going to use those but we're going to use RX6 TX6 5 volts and ground so it's going to be those four pins right there and that's what all you need to uh, wire up the GPS to the flight control board and then you have to uh, turn on a couple things in beta flight and i'll talk about those a little bit later in the video but yeah uh, that's pretty much it you just uh wire up this connect plug this in i'm going to stick this up on the top over here and then i'm going to turn on the gps feature and also the um speed feature in the osd so i'll show the gps speed and then we'll do some speed runs and see how fast this thing goes okay so i disassembled this a little bit so i can show you a little bit better what i'm talking about um here are the pins I'm going to be using. It's, and actually this little capacitor here is on the 5 volt rail. So I think here on the far right one is going to be RX6. So you got um, RX6 right there. And then you have TX6. And then next to TX6 is the 5 volts. So this pin right here is 5 volts and then that one here is that one there is ground so there's four wires that come out of the GPS and so you have uh, 5 volts here and then the green wire here is RX and then the white wire here is TX and that's ground so the RX from the GPS is going to go to the TX on the flight controller and the TX on the GPS goes to the RX on the flight controller and of course you know 5 volts go to 5 volts and ground goes to ground so that's how you would wire it up that's pretty much it so I'm gonna have to figure out I'm gonna have to see how I'm gonna solder this onto that capacitor uh, could be a little tricky it's very tiny and I'll show you what that looks like after I'm done okay so here's the soldering work and I'll show you what the wiring looks like so here's the plug on this GPS uh, the BN180 your model might be different so check your documentation and let's see this is how the wiring looks on this particular flight controller again check your documentation on your flight controller and the wiring uh, might look different than this okay to finish setting this up uh, on your computer connect up your drone to beta flight and this one doesn't have it set up yet, so you want to go over to the uh, ports tab first. And under UART 6, as you see there's nothing here, so we're going to put this under sensor input. Uh, select GPS, and then hit save and reboot. And reconnect, and I think it's going to be under configuration here. Uh, we want to go down to the GPS section over here, go ahead and turn that on. And here under protocol, you want to select U-Blocks if you're using that particular, the MN or the BN180. Uh, obviously check your documentation, you may need to use the other protocol. And then I leave these on auto, or actually I leave this off on Autobot and I leave auto config turned on. And that usually just works. For most of these, uh, BN1, uh, the ones from B Brighton, I guess name it, that's the name of the company. And that should be it. And then we'll have to, uh, you won't see the GPS in here because it's not powered on yet. We have to actually plug in a battery.
Okay, so now we have power and the GPS is booted up. And now we have this GPS icon here. It's detected that it's actually turned on. There's no reading yet because it takes a little bit of time for it to pick up the uh, GPS signals. And I'm actually indoors right now, so it's probably not going to pick up any satellites for a little while. But this, if you go down here, if you, you have to turn on uh, expert mode, by the way, but this, uh, if you don't have that expert mode turned on, you're not going to see this GPS tab. So you want to click on the GPS tag here. And you can see a couple satellites, actually one, only one satellite has showed up here. And eventually, uh, I think after maybe about six to eight satellites are picked up, you'll get a 3D fix of true, and then it'll show your latitude and longitude. And I think it'll actually even show up a map here as well. But um, if you have this GPS lighting up over here in, the, in this um, the diagnostic section up here in the top, that means that you've wired it up correctly and it's actually receiving a signal. And at this point, it's just a matter of time uh, for it to actually to work. And then um, in order to configure something like, say, the uh, speed or the, yeah, in terms of the GPS speed on, on your OSD, I think it's going to be right here. Go uh, to the OSD section and click on GPS speed. And then that should show up here. You can just drag it somewhere on your screen. And I think that's in kilometers per hour. So if you want to change that to Imperial Units, uh, I think that is going to be right here under Units. So instead of metric, you're going to pick Imperial. And that's, that'll give you miles per hour instead of uh, kilometers per hour. And that's pretty much it in terms of setup. Um, there's another video they did, uh, actually earlier, on how to set up GPS Rescue Mode. So if you want to do that, check out that video um, that talks about how to set up that uh, particular feature in Betaflight and if you want to use this for return to home type of feature in Betaflight check out that video I'll put a link down in the description for that one. Anyway guys hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.